hey, hey. And I'm not able to see any comments. I imagine because it doesn't know like which app. Right, that makes sense. And it says connected to Facebook, connected to YouTube, but then I can't see comments. So, anyway. No problem, I can check. That's um, But that's good to know, we're connected. Hey, hey, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the shed. Do we need to keep the air on tonight, do you think? I'm warm, I'm okay. in shorts, that's okay. how warm I am. All right, we'll keep it I on. Have, I have not gotten, uh, I have not gotten cold yet you have from not yesterday. Cold. I know, I know. Welcome, welcome, welcome to tonight's live, you guys. Oh, I can see comments, yay! Um, hi, Karen. But I still need your help, though, okay, babe? Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's powerful warm, y'all. So, you guys, I am so sorry. I couldn't tell you guys what we would be doing tonight, but I legitimately could not make up my mind what I wanted to do. You guys ever get in, like, creative overdrive where you have so many ideas that are, like, going through your mind that, A, you can't sleep. I haven't played this stuff well. Um, and, B, you're just, like, overwhelmed with the amount of things that you can do, but you don't have time to do them all. I'm in that place right now. Just, you know. So, y'all bear with me. <laughs> and my glasses, I don't know how they get so dirty. I don't know if using this towel is going to make it better or worse, though. Can you see yet, babe? Uh, for whatever reason, I had to reconnect my headphones. Okay. So David is looking for me, you guys. So that's what we're waiting for. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. We really yeah. appreciate it. I did not get the sign up the way I want it to, the last one we did. So I'm hoping to get it hung this week. I couldn't find my driver. Y'all know the truth. I can't find my driver. I don't know where it is. So I can put the B-rings on the back and hang it up. So I didn't get it put up. I have a spot for it, though. You guys want to see? So I'm going to put the sign you made right here above my paper mache um, bull head there. That's where the sign's going to go. I think it's going to look really nice right there. Okay. Are we ready? I can hear us on both, so I'm going to take this off. Take oh, my ears okay. out of oh it. yeah, so you won't be confused? Yes, I just wanted to make sure that I could, that sound was coming through, and I have two different devices, which require two different sets of headphones. <laughs> <laughs> we have a love-hate relationship with technology. Y'all know. They know. Well, one's a little older, so it requires a plug-in, and the other one has no plug-in, so I have to use Bluetooth. Oh. Yeah, whatever. Um... All right, so are we talking to people yet or yeah, not Yeah, let's yet? say hi. All right. Hey, how y'all doing? Let's say hi to everyone. All right, on YouTube, we have LaRonda Lambert says good evening. Allie Woodcock says first live I've ever caught. Always see the replay from Brantford, Ontario. Oh, well, welcome tonight. Joan Volkman watching from Kenosha, Wisconsin. That's what we have right now on youtube it says 16 people okay so if you're watching please just throw a comment in yeah in the live chat yeah you don't have to pay i've noticed there's a lot of uh youtube lives uh-huh and they have these things called super chats oh so what the super chat is this is what it is in case you're on youtube um if i have like a million followers and you want to make sure that i see your comments you could pay to have super chat which would guarantee that your comment would be seen by the moderator but like you guys don't have to do that. I that has to apply when there's when when the chat is just rolling yes. like it's the price of uh, prices right wheel. Exactly. Okay. You don't need to pay for us. No. No. <laughs> uh, We're uh, not that popular. Yeah, no. On uh, uh, well not even that, just you know, just for fun. Yeah, that you know. too. Um, on uh, Facebook we have Julie Deckert from upstate New York, Shannon Booth. Marty Hardy, Shannon, excuse me, Sharon Charles from the Bronx, Stephanie Devine, Pam Knight, Channel Sun from Taiwan. We haven't seen Channel for a little while. Oh, I know. How are you? Caroline Moss from Tennessee. Jackie Jones says, hey, sis. Hey, Jackie Jones. Jackie uh, Brown. <laughs> Donna Herman Lewis, Peggy Otto Finnegan, Wendy Lee Daily Rogers, Linda Cheek, a newbie from Arkansas. Kathleen O'Brien Hoos from Spring Grove, Illinois, Doris Rushing, Holly Murphy, Jenny Marmion 
uh, says, sorry about no show on my Thursday live basement flooded. Oh, I hope everything worked out, Jimmy. I was wondering what happened. We we understand. We do. We, we totally get it. Understand. Uh, so Jackie is in Vidalia, Georgia. Oh. So you know that. I know. You well, know. I don't. She she might be. She may have been somewhere else. I know. Jackie's a traveling person yes. now. She's put loose and fancy free. She's yeah. Excited. Um, Diane Ford Nicholson, Jamie Taylor says hello from Florida. Dennis Wenger from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Karen Steben, Pamela McDowell. Uh, Karen Steben, by the way, is in Clearwater, Kansas. Angie Champagne, Cynthia Vandermeer, also from Kansas. Hillary Kiefer Snyder from Cincinnati, Ohio, vacationing in the Finger Lakes. That's New York. Is that right? Upstate New York is the Finger Lakes. Are you asking a geographical I'm asking because I truly don't know. Um, Diane Kessler, Cheryl Klutz Barlow from Deltaville, Virginia. Virginia Christy Seiler, Dorothy Lage, of course, uh, from just down the road. Hello, Dos Dorothy. Cabezas. Golda you know, I'm Raider. Sorry, I'm looking at the comments because some are blue and some are red. I'm assuming the red ones are from YouTube. That sorry. Could be, that could be. Oh, okay. Because I've got it on two different devices, so yeah. I don't see what you see. I know. Um, Stephanie Devine, I can never comment on a YouTube, even if I'm signed in. Well, live. She can't comment live. Hmm. Huh. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Maybe your privacy settings or something? Could be. Uh, Golda Raider, Celestine Todd from DeSoto, Texas. Linda. Linda, how do I pronounce your last name? H-O-U-D-E from Quebec, Canada. So, Howd? I'm not sure. Memory Williams from Amarillo. Uh, I'm not going to sing it today. I want to, but I'm not going to do it, Memory. Kathleen Huvis, are we diving right in? <laughs> That's what we call like a dry snitch, Kathleen. You know, like, well, it's not quite a dry snitch. But you guys know how when you're little and like your brother's doing something he's not supposed to be doing and you don't want to tell on him. So you just say really loudly so your parents won't hear. Like, you better stop jumping on that bed or mom and dad are going to get mad. Like, we call that a dry snitch. So that was like an underhanded, like, hurry up and get in to the deal. <laughs> uh, we Dom, have to say hi. Yeah, Don Perry Headley from Pennsylvania. Von Nelson Love from Alabama. Dorothy Lage just got a half inch rain in 15 minutes. Oh, wow. And Wilcox? Does that we, mean it's coming our way, Dorothy? Well, we got it yesterday. We did. Oh, my gosh. Did we get it yesterday? Uh, Kimberly Brundle Souter, Pie Canada, Pay Canada, P E I. I don't know where that is. You don't know say? I don't know. Uh, Betty Brasser from Alberta, Canada. Celestine Clark is in Decatur, Illinois. Uh, Karen Klein Martin, Ellenwood, Kansas. Yes, the Finger Lakes are upstate New York. Oh, Thank okay. you, Karen. So you uh, right. Dorothy said the same. Anna Pierce, Don, uh, Danielle, Preston Farrell. Uh, Deborah Butcher Designs reminds me, yes, yes, put your links to your store. If you are a recycled retailer, put it in here for anybody to reach out to you. Luann yes. Cox from Kentucky, Joanne Palomino. We haven't seen Joanne oh, in a hey, long time. Oh, hey, Joanne. How are you? Uh, oh, Linda Hood says it's like Robin Hood. Thank you, Linda. Uh, Cassandra Smith joining from the Sonic drive through Oh, nice, Cassandra. Can you get me a strawberry limeade with extra cherries, please? No, cherry limeade. Oh, I mean, yeah, cherry limeade with extra yeah. cherries, please. Debbie Claypool, Claypool from East Tennessee. Cassandra says, is it hot in Texas? Is it hot in Texas? I like it. Sonic, I don't get it very often, but I like the ice cream with the slushy. Oh, I don't know why. Those just don't go. I guess it's like it, having it's a... It's surprisingly um, not bad. I tried it uh, thinking the same thing. Yeah. But I was just too hot one day. And you it's not it. bad. Not bad. Yeah. So hello, hello to everyone. Thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. Oh, wait. Um, before we do, Kimberly Souter, P-E-I is not pronounced pay. It's Prince Edward Island. Oh. See, I... Wait, we learn something every live that we have. You can Because we have, have so many own? friends all over. Well, because we have people who who are here from all over oh, yeah, so we yeah. get to learn different things well and if anybody from outside of minnesota heard are you from the cities they'd have no idea what that meant yes. but in minnesota that means the twin cities yes so that's how everybody outside of minneapolis st paul refers city. to minneapolis st paul is we're going to the cities yeah so and marie davis from duncanville texas okay here we go 
so we do have I know so for my retailers if you guys would please 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 put your websites in the comments because for my customers I do want to address something because I'm 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 we're get, we get new customers and sometimes they're frustrated because they can't just come to my website and just order the papers but you guys I partner with a lot of really like small businesses all over the world and um, one of the ways I honor our partnership is by not selling directly so I'm not competing with them so um, you can still get your papers but you just want to connect with the retailer and the retailers are like really good at what they do too so they can be like your your partners in your creative endeavors right because they'll have paint and clear code and transfers and molds and all the things and if you're stuck on a project they can help you along so I really encourage you to find a recycled retailer um, and they'll take care of you so if my retailers who are on tonight hi Carmen can just put your link to your website where the papers can be found that will be awesome all right we do have uh, a couple more from YouTube um, let's see, uh, da, 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 Jan G from Michigan, Amanda Burgess, first live in South Carolina, hi, um, Debbie Hackett, hi from our little shop Outback in Missouri, Felicia Brown from Santa Barbara, California, but here are the couple things that uh, I do want to talk about. So Joan Volkman says everybody click the like button. Yes, please. Oh, yes, please. So if you're watching from YouTube, if you'll please click the like button. Facebook it's share. Yes. YouTube it's like and subscribe if you if and you feel inclined. Yeah. And if you subscribe on YouTube, you'll actually get an alert for when we go live. So that's another thing too. Well, you'll you get have, an I think email you have to alert. sign up for alerts. You I, do have to sign up for alerts. It's my understanding that YouTube sends out emails to let people know when lives are scheduled. I've got I've got a bunch of uh, uh -huh. subscriptions. You have to sign up for the alerts. Okay, so hit the little bell. That's that on there, and then that way you'll get an alert whenever we post a new video, and then whenever we go live. So here's the other thing that I think is really cool. Joan Volkman is watching from Kenosha, Wisconsin. We already said that. Uh, Nancy B. says, hi, I missed you guys. Hi, Joan. I'm also from Kenosha. Joan says, that's awesome. We should start a Kenosha group and start and get together oh, to watch on so the Sunday awesome. Night Lives. Oh, that would I be I think so that would be neat. Yes. There was someone else that was talking about that last week, weren't they? I Getting together to watch. Yeah, because, well, and then once you get a group together, then you craft together. Yeah. And then you're you're expanding your knowledge, you're expanding your techniques. It's it's just all good fun. And you can get all the cheese me. Yeah. <laughs> Baby's like, what's cheese me? <laughs> uh, I'm sitting there thinking, all right, who brings the wine? Well, yes, the wine, the cheese me, it's all good. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started, you guys. Tonight, I know I, 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 oh my, I wanted to upcycle something, but I wasn't able to get anything prepped. So yesterday, you guys, we spent the day at Battle of the Bands, um, all day, y'all. We got home at like, what time, baby? Uh, one o'clock. One o'clock in the morning. Y'all know we too old for that. We got home at one o'clock in the morning. So Battle of the Bands is a community event here in Graham County. It's the, this is the 13th year. I would say it's our biggest summer event. Biggest summer event. And for me personally, a lot of you know that I used to be the executive director of a nonprofit, SECUS, and we support seniors in our community through various services. But um, the proceeds from yesterday's sale were for Meals on Wheels. So we run a beer garden at the Battle of the Bands, and then of course the money that raised goes to support Meals on Wheels. Because even though I'm not with SECUS anymore, I still believe in um, their mission very much. And so that's what I did yesterday, girl. I sold beer. To everybody who will buy one so we could feed more seniors <laughs> and it's my radio stations that oh yeah and data was at work yeah we, we put it on it. and it's literally any here's the rules two people minimum of two people on stage constitute a band you could get together that morning and decide to to join well not really you have to sign did you up have early two people did you have a two people band we did and oh. i thought they should have won oh they had 16 bands, y'all, and it rained. Well, Del Dorothy, quite. we had to have gotten like four inches and in, in We had two hours hour straight of steady hard rain, mm -hmm. which is, we always get rain in the middle of it. But the hard, hard rain was But we never night. get it that long and that sustained. Yeah. Um, so, that yeah, we should have been done by 8.30, and we were done by 1.30. Yeah. 
So, but it was fun. It was a good time, and and boy, a lot of politicians came. Yeah, they were they were walking around. They were they were pressing the flesh. <laughs> hey, you guys, my retailers, do me a favor. I cannot find the tag to this paper, so you guys can tell me the name of this one, the one that has two. I want to say this one's not grain sack. I can't think of which one this one is. So tonight, you guys, I want to make a door hanger. So I've never had a door hanger, but now that my porch is out cute, child, I want to put something cute on my door. <laughs> so we're going to make a door hanger tonight. And I haven't quite, like, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Y'all know how I am. So, I, um, I have to. Stephanie divine about getting together with friends. Uh huh. That won't work. I'm already in bed. She's already in bed with her wine. Uh, but Billy Keir, my friend Teresa Seleski Gordon, and I are watching together on TV. But we're being lazy, kicking back, watching with popcorn. <laughs> That's nice. good too. Yes, I have some more kettle corn from yesterday. So I need you guys because I feel like I want to have everything upcycled on my porch. And so this is my trouble that I'm having with this project because I have everything that I need to make a super cute door hanger, right? But I really want to integrate something that's like upcycled. What do you guys think? And actually when I was playing with this, I was thinking if I could put something like Velcro on the back of here, I could actually change this out and like leave the door hanger and just change out this middle part whenever I want. What do you guys think about the tag with the plates? Is that cute? It's feed facts. Thank you so much, Carmen. So I do know, so I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this part. So we're going to wait on this part. But I do know that I wanted to use ticking on this back part. I love the ticking. Um, these designs, I know, I know they're simple, but they're kind of my favorites just because they transcend so many design styles. So you can be farmhouse, you can be a cowgirl, you can be industrial. You know, um, and these grain sacks will still match like your decor, right? Oh, um, your aesthetic. So I don't know if Cassandra I want to. Sandra says feed sacks. This one? Yeah, she said she calls it feed sacks. Well, yeah, one of them's this one's a feed sack, and then this one is flower sack. Oh, grain sack? Oh, feed sack. Oh, Lord. Yeah. And um, Peggy Finnegan says, I've never seen the 100 pound bag. They're 50 pounds now since farmers got older. Which is true. I mean, we have so few family-owned farms these days yeah. that, that farmers are farming older. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And then this one is the flower sacks. And so these ones, they have like topography from old um, antique um, grain sacks. Well, you know, they're a culmination of a lot of things because I create these, but... <laughs> So yep. I don't know if I should do like the flower stack or, but I'm really feeling this one right now. Kathleen Hoover says, what is a door hanging? So Kathleen, a door hanger is like, instead of putting a wreath on your front door, right? You can just put like a round wreath on your front door. Um, a door hanger just takes the place of a wreath. And I like them because it gives you more opportunity for expression. And so you can just use like a big round circle and you can make it custom and have it say what you want it. Um, I actually have a larger tray than this one that I plan on making into a door hanger, but I didn't have it planned out really well, so I didn't want to tackle that. So you could use any shape, and it could almost be anything. That's why they're super fun to make. Um, and for me, so I'm going to give you guys a, a peek inside my brain. Don't be afraid. It's going to be okay. <laughs> I'm thinking, we talked about doing fall decor, right? And this is fall that's not like in your face fall. I, it, to me, it's still fall though, because you guys remember like our predecessors celebrated fall because of the bounty and the harvest, right? That was a time that they pulled in all of the fall vegetables, the corn, the grains, um, and they would have that and they would, you know, um, preserve it and store it for the whole winter. So if there was a good harvest in the fall, that was a really good indication of how good the winter was going to be. And so even though we're not farming, not as like you know, none of us, very few of us, I should say, are farming anymore, the reality is we still have a lot to be grateful for because the Lord still provides, like his provision is still with us. It's just that we're paid like every two weeks or twice a month or whatever. So to me, the fall is a time to really reflect on 
all the things that we're like really thankful for and for me individually to be thankful for the Lord's provision. So that's where my brain is. And so that's why I wanted to do like the grain sacks, kind of the celebration of the harvest. And so I have a few options for what I want to do in my rounds. And I'm hoping you guys can help me make up my mind. Uh, Dorothy so. says, Dorothy Lage says, I like the idea of double-sided and change out the message. Yeah, right? Oh yeah, because we could make the big tag double-sided. And then, because these rounds are so inexpensive, like they come in packages of, I think there's 12 in here. There's 10. These are a pack of 10, and these are eight inch rounds that I'm using. And they're super inexpensive. Um, and so you could have several for the different holidays and then just bell them in the plates. Or so, a different message. Yeah. It could just be a message. It could be. It could be, yeah, just different things. And then I have a little mini wreath here. Um, you guys know, I don't, I mean, I don't know. These are, um, I think it's eucalyptus. No, not eucalyptus. It's probably like a box. Um, what do they call it? Anyways, it's a cute wreath and it's kind of a perfect size if we choose to use the plate. So I don't know exactly what we're doing, but I have all the things pulled out. I know we want to decoupage this and I haven't had an opportunity to use the new Village Market Mold from ILD. So I was kind of hoping to be able to use that today um, in combination with the um, the laurel from the olive crest mold. I think that would be super cute, right? It's kind of like a three-dimensional grain sack, if you will. So we'll see what happens. But let's get started. The new people who are logging in are like, what on earth are they doing? We chit chat a lot on Sundays. So this is what I tell everyone. If you want to come, Boxwood, thank you so much. If you want to come and hang out and chit chat on a Sunday, then please, by all means, join us. We do craft, but we do a lot of chit chatting. If you like more succinct tutorials, you can um, look at tutorials on YouTube. I upload a new video every week. I am also on um, Pinterest. I have some really quick tutorials on there. And if you want a really fast tutorial, you can check me out on TikTok. <laughs> and I do a lot, uh, not a lot. I've done several really in-depth tutorials, like five sessions, super deep dive on decoupage, on um, patina, um, and then we're just wrapping up our leather look course. So there's a wait list for that course. But um, those are paid courses. But those are super deep dives on like anybody here who's taken my course, you guys know, I try to cover all the things whenever I teach a course. Now, I have discovered something over the last two weeks. What? Because the last two weeks we've been doing YouTube and Facebook at the same time. So yes. I'm, I'm on both with my two devices. Uh-huh. So that means I can't be looking up comic books. I know we're going to save money. Yeah, but I'm also going to talk a lot more. <laughs> oh, I oh, you're not distracted. I'm I, not distracted. So. I see. Um, Talking is good. So I'm. What do you guys? I'm. The cow is going to take up too much space. I'm thinking we're going to have to do the pig because he's smaller. If we do this, so these are my choices, you guys. We can do an animal and a laurel, which I think is going to be super cute. There won't be a specific message like welcome or something but like i'm kind of okay with that or um we can do something different with this and i can just paint this thing full and put it on there so you guys can vote for that and we'll get started on the big tag kathleen Hoovis, wasn't it in the 30s that grain sack companies started printing pretty prints on the grain sacks so women could reuse them and make dresses. Yes, it's so funny. I just read an article. It, it came up on my Facebook feed. I think Facebook spies on me. because I, I thought it was flour, but yes. And it, it was, was during the Depression. Yes. Uh, mothers would use the sacks for their daughters because the sacks were small enough yes. for their daughters. And I guess one or two of the companies decided, well, why not make them pretty for these little girls? They could make them pretty. And it, uh, honestly, babe, because you're cutting out patterns, they were just, they were, I mean, they were primarily for the kids, but they use them, period. Like aprons, oh, yeah. you know, little girls' dresses. Well, and during the Depression, you had to. You had yes. to use everything. Yeah. You're, and you're so. using 100% of the buffalo. 100% of the buffalo. So. Like my grandpa used to say, the rooted to the tutor. <laughs> 
and so on this one you guys on um, this one which i'm pretty sure is i feed sacks i think it might be you have this one which is a green sack on one side and then the other side um, is a super cute like chicken feed sack so you get like a bang for your buck with this one with this particular decoupage paper but i'm going to use this one so we have uh, three animal votes thus far. Okay. Two that just say animal. Uh, Karen Steben or Steiben, I apologize if I mispronounce, says a pig, preferably. Yes, uh, the pig is the only one that I think is going to fit with the laurel. I think the other ones would be too big. Felicia and Brown says thankful on YouTube. Okay. And uh, a cricket's life checking in from Long Beach, California. Hello from Long Beach. Christy. And you guys know what? I should have been painting while I was talking because I can't decoupage yet. So I could decoupage this over the top of this wood, but what's going to happen is the white portions of my paper are going to become a little bit transparent and you're going to be able to see this light wood through it. So um, I really prefer to, to um, decoupage over white. So that I really get like maximum impact from my images on my decoupage papers. Unless I want it to be kind of laid back. But in this instance, I kind of really want it to be um, the primary like visual on here. So I'm just going to do a quick coat of white. And it doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to decoupage over it. Um, so it's going to be super quick. I am spritzing some water on my wood, you guys. Um, just so that my paint spreads out super easy and it makes it a little faster. And I'm gonna do a super thin coat so we're not here like all day waiting for paint to dry. I could have been doing this while we were chit-chatting. Maybe you're supposed to tell me stuff like that. Uh, I'm telling Pamela McDowell that she can find the list of <laughs> Uh, Recycled Retailers at Recycled.com. Yes, if you guys look at the very top of my website at Recycled.com, you'll see Retailers. It's a live link. So if you click on it, it'll take you to a list of, a list of retailers and they're listed by uh, their locations. If they're in the U.S., they're listed by state. And then if they're in another country, they're listed by country. Should I do the equid? Um, no, that's your shop. Yeah, that's my shop. No, yeah. we'll just do the RoyCycle.com for the papers. We have new papers coming out soon, you guys. Um, holiday designs will be out. And so keep an ear out um, for that. Because we'll be doing that really quickly. If you're on my email list, you'll actually find out um, a little earlier than anybody else what the new designs are. So if you haven't signed up to get email no notifications, you guys can do that. Um, I'll have to, there's a link on Recycle Treasures Facebook page, but I don't think I have anything on YouTube. So I'll have to remember to do that. So you guys can sign up. I do send out, I try, <coughs> excuse me, to send out like weekly emails. Um, and then if we have something special going on, then I'll send out additional emails, but I'm not going to be one of those people who sends you like, you know, an email every day. I don't even have the, the wherewithal to do that. So, yeah, I have uh, a friend of ours. Um, she, Carol. Oh, okay. She's always promoting, always promoting. God bless her. She is always selling. Always be selling. But I get, I get emails about something that I may have bought from her a year ago and it'll say update on oh, she's updating you know, update website. number 37 and it's just her promoting her next thing uh -huh. and I understand she's using as many email lists as she can yes but I don't I don't need those I just just tell me the new one I'm good oh I know so I'm so yeah you're not this. beating people up with the email <clears throat> no and it's funny but yeah yeah People have different ideas about it. So the question is, when will the new release be sneak peeked? And when will they be available to uh, at retailer shops? So I will have a better idea of their availability next week. I'll post it on my page. So um, before COVID, I could, get, I could have given you guys a date a month ago. But um, there are so many supply chain issues. And even though everything is fine, things are being produced on time, I'm just gun shy. <laughs> about like making a commitment of a date and then something happens but i'll be making an announcement this week 
so um, for when you guys can expect to see the designs and then when you guys will be able to get them from the retailers. Okay. Uh, Felicia Brown asks, what type of, this is on YouTube, what type of worktop do you have on your studio here? Oh, you know what? This is one of those tables from Home Depot. Um, it's just um, a work, like a workshop table. I like it because I can adjust it up and down. I love this table. You got a little crank there. I right? have a little crank here so I can like pull it down or up, which is awesome because if I'm working on a piece of furniture, I can put it down really low and put the furniture on the table. Because y'all know, look, furniture yoga is not easy. Just saying. And usually, I used to put paper uh, over. I've been, this is the same table I've been using the whole time. But um, I've just found it's easier to just wipe it off. And I'm not wasting as much paper. Karen Stevens says the top of that paper looks like her old lawn chair. Oh, the top of this paper? Yeah. Oh, that's makes some pretty cool lawn chairs. I love ticking. I don't know what is it with me and uh, the ticking fabric. I just really, really like it a lot. And Kathleen Hoovis did like the email reminder about tonight. Oh, thank you, Kathleen. Yeah, Felicia has the same one. She loves it. The uh, same table. Oh, the same table. Yes, I do love my table. It's so funny because I went out to buy it and there weren't any. Well, Remember? It was during COVID. It was during COVID. So it happened Well, a lot of parents are buying these tables to have like um, classrooms at home because the kids weren't able to go to school. And it adjusts for the kids. Yes, and it adjusts for the kids. So I couldn't find one. I was being a crybaby for like six months. And then um, you guys know how we hate how like our computers and phones spy on us. In this instance, I was very happy because as soon as it came available, Facebook shot me an ad. <laughs> And I happily purchased it because I've been waiting forever. But you also, and, and we've talked about this, cultivating relationships. You have friends at Home Depot. Oh, I do. That were on the watch. They were. They just didn't have any. They didn't have Well, any. our Home Depot. Our Home Depot didn't have any. Yeah, we're in the real community, you guys. We're like the stepchildren. We got a Walmart. We got a Home Depot. That's it. But I mean, even the stores, like we're the last one to get the thing. Yeah. Like everything else. Yeah. So I'm, I have a bunch of stuff on my table because I have a lot of ideas swimming around in my mind. But let's get started. We're going to decoupage this. I have my decoupage paper. I'm going to be using Wise Owl's One Hour Enamel tonight. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Well, Felicia says she has two of these tables. One is outside on casters. Oh, yeah. This but, one yeah, is this on casters too. Looks. But you have a choice when you put it together. You can either put feet or casters on it. Oh. It's really nice. So you guys know that I always like to do what I call an anchor row. So I've already laid my paper exactly the way I want it. And um, once I put down my anchor row, then I don't have to worry about it like shifting anymore. So I'm going to put down our first row. Um, I always try to end with a straight line just because it makes it easier when it's time to go on with the next section of my decoupage and I'm making sure that I'm putting down a nice even coat of product so I don't have any spots that don't have product or enough product and I don't end up with bubbles and when you're decoupaging over like raw wood with with chalk paint on top of it uh, you'll find that you really want to make sure you have enough product because the wood and the paint will soak up some of your products Get that on there and then I always I laugh because I watch my videos and I'll start with my project this way and then I'll switch it but it's because I'm right-handed and so I always just turn my project whichever way is going to be the most comfortable and I thought about doing um, oh I had so many ideas because I have some we may do this maybe we'll do this next week um, some flower sacks from Walmart but I didn't get to wash them so that's why I didn't do this one and the, the stamp, this one is, what is it called? Fruitful Harvest from ILD. It's a gorgeous stamp. So I was thinking it'd be really super cute to stamp out some um, curtains for the kitchen. And so these make super cute curtains. If you have like a short window in your kitchen like I do, 
because um, you can just use the little clip on curtain rings and hang it up after you make them so maybe we'll do that maybe we'll do that next week or you can even use um, if you have drop cloth you can just cut off pieces of drop cloth the size that you need and you can stamp on those as well yeah Queen Hoovis says Bemis or Beamies B-E-M-I-S my husband worked for Bemis, Beamies, and Terre Haute, Indiana for 20 years. Oh, wow. Obviously, That's the great tech I'm using. Oh, okay. Obviously, different company and packaging. Uh, I have a friend in Terre Haute. That's as close as I come to any connection now. <laughs> Pastor Tim. Is that your friend, Tim? That's my friend, Tim. Hi, Tim. We're going to have to He's not him. on, but... Oh, we have to make a trip to Chicago. He said it'll come up if, if we make the trip out. Oh, okay. And you guys, I always look from the side too. When I'm laying this down, I just lean over to the side because I can see where it's wet. And you always think that you've covered all the spots. And then when you lean over to the side and look at your project, you can see areas where there either isn't any product or there's not enough product. Um, and either way, you may end up with bubbles, so you want to address those. And uh, thank you, Kathleen Hoovis. It's pronounced Bemis. Um, Judith Brewer, I, lo I love this paper. Used it on my little wooden footstool. All right, this is like the perfect size for stools. And how fun would it be to have a different one on each stool? Like they all have the kind of the same theme, but they're different. Sandy Desjarnay asked, is the pumpkin for sale now? The, yeah, this stamp, you guys can find this on my shop, um, recycle.equit.com. This is on there. Um, this is, you guys, the, the line work in this. Um, That's two. I know, the police here, I don't know what they're doing. We, we're um, having a rough time with, yeah. right now. We've had a couple of deaths. <clears throat> it's really cool because you have a lot of line work to make it really interesting, but there's still a lot of open space. So when we do our curtains, I actually want to paint our pumpkin. I think it's going to be fun. And I may actually use drop cloth instead of the flower sack for the curtains, now that I'm thinking about it. Because the drop cloth is hardier. Okay. And so I'm just using that to smooth it down and to make sure there's good contact between the paper and the surface. Um, when your paper is wet, you may have some like wrinkles in there, but you guys, they'll go out as soon as it dries. And if you're really, really worried about wrinkles, you can do the iron on decoupage method and you won't have any wrinkles. Um, I just really like the traditional method still. Wendy Dodd loves this new squeegee tool you're using. Do you sell it in your shop? I do not, Wendy. Um, I just I get them off of Amazon. But there's a <laughs> uh, but your Amazon page. Yeah, but you can go to my um, and Wendy is actually in Vegas. She's one of my uh, retailers. Okay. Yeah, Wendy's the one that we've been chatting with about you know something. Yes. All right. That's coming up. So I've been seeing a lot of people um, spray their paper first and then decoupage it, and they say that you don't get wrinkles that way, so I thought I'd try it right now. It makes sense, because then the paper stretches like ahead of time, and so you don't have to worry about it stretching when it hits your product. And you can mist it just a little bit. Oh, wow, I have zero wrinkles. Oh, wow. See, there's still more for me to even learn. So, you guys saw what I did there? I'll have to do more of a, I'll, I'll do some experimenting and I'll do um, a tutorial just on that because I just misted it with just plain old water, nothing else on the back and then I laid it down um, and I don't have any, not a one wrinkle is on my paper. Oh wow, that's way cool and that's like a super simple like way to do it too. So that's it. So we're all covered and um, I like to let it, you know, I should let it dry. So you can, you can go ahead and sand this off while your paper is like moist or wet, but you will get a much cleaner um, result if you wait. But I'm gonna grunge up my edges anyway, so 
I'm gonna go ahead and just take it off. And I really like the way that paper laid down after when I sprayed it first. And you know, it's so funny because I would spray this paper so that it would stretch along with this paper so that you wouldn't get the weird pulling, but I never thought about spraying the paper itself um, before decoupaging. Because I seriously have zero wrinkle at the top right here. Marvelous. And I know Loranda is on here. I shared your TikTok on my um, TikTok page today, Loranda. And everybody loves your sign. The one that you made with the um, chippy paint, the welcome sign. And I made sure to tag you. So hopefully you got some additional traffic on your um, TikTok account. Stephanie Devine, how do you seal it without getting wrinkles? Well, I'm going to seal it. And you know what? We're going to do it together right now, Stephanie. So the thing is, and I know why it works, and I don't know why I didn't think about it sooner. When you spray the paper, it starts stretching. And so when I'm decoupaging, what's happening is as I lay it in my product, the paper is getting moist and it's starting to stretch. And so that's why you get the wrinkles. But if I spray it first, then the paper is going to stretch as I lay it down. And so there, there's nothing to wrinkle because it's already stretched. And so I would imagine that um, even when I seal it, it's not gonna wrinkle. But we're gonna see right now. Because I'm gonna go ahead and seal this and we can go ahead and work on the other parts of our door hanger. So and if you guys are looking for these, um, you can find them on um, Amazon too. In your shop? Amazon shop? Sure, I'll put it in there since we're done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to watch our uh, viewership drop? Why? Let me ask a question. No, baby, you don't <laughs> be asking no dangerous questions. I just want to know what people are binge watching right now. Oh, okay. That's not going to make it drop. Yeah, it does, because the people that don't like the chat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, this is what this is for, This though. is what Sunday is. Yeah. So we watched uh, Major Crimes, yeah. and I enjoyed that. You marveled at the fact that I watch that because I'm not usually uh, no, he doesn't usually watch those. Kinds I'm not a crime show watcher. Um, so I seal this top part, you guys, and it's like it's like not wrinkling; it's warbling. I don't know if that's a better word, but barely. So like this is going to be my new, my new process now. It's to spritz it before I decoupage. Sorry, go ahead. No, that's okay. So watch that. Then you told me that the show was actually a sequel. It was a spinoff from... Yeah, or continuation without the lead actor. The lead actor left, but they kept the show going. Yeah. They called it Major Crimes, and it was the closer. Yeah. And I'm watching it. I'm not loving it. <laughs> she says the lead character is unlikable. She, yeah, and that's the only character... Well, that and J.K. Simmons, who I love are the only two that are different on the oh, show. Although yeah. the sergeant doesn't go to the new show yeah, and the female detective doesn't go to the new show. Um, but it's, it's a small change in cast. Yes. But the lead is so unlikable. So I'm curious what everybody else is kind of binging because maybe we could find something that, that we like. Yeah. So I'm looking for recommendations. Recommendations for shows. I know. I just sit there and scroll through all of our channels, which we have way too many because I don't even think we watch that much TV. And and I mean streaming because I don't even have cable anymore. Our streaming channels. And then I just watch TikToks until I get ready to go to bed. Yeah. Um, Melissa List just finished The Lincoln Lawyer. Now, is there a show, The Lincoln Lawyer? I guess so. Not, not just the movie because the movie was Matthew McConaughey. Oh, okay. Um... Pam Knight, Quantum Leap. I never watched that show. I watched Quantum Leap. I don't know if I can watch it now, though. I you, I was like a diehard. I watched Quantum Leap. I Quantum Leap was on when I was a sports writer, and sports writers work nights. Oh, okay. I The only one I, I saw, and it might have been a two-part, but I only saw one part of it, was he leaped into himself. Or yeah. No, he leaped into his brother. Oh, and he played a John Lennon song for his sister to prove who he was and that he was from the future. Oh. That's the only one I saw. You remembered so. a lot of that one. Yeah. So it looks like when I did this one, you guys, I probably didn't have like enough resin. 
to pour the entire um, laurel but I'm kind of liking a smaller laurel so I'm gonna go ahead and try to pour both of these laurels and pour the pig the cool thing about the new ILG um, molds is that it actually tells you how much uh, resin that you're gonna need so I'm gonna need 32 mils just for the two laurels and then I'm going to need 31 mil just for the pig so I'm gonna have to do two batches of resin um, but it's kind of cool right because like I know that ahead of time so I like to use amazing casting resin it's my personal favorite it does not stink and I'm gonna be using a lot of resin on purpose for the next few weeks because I know some of you are afraid of resin so we're gonna keep on using it until you're not afraid no more that's my that's my plan so um, I just have to pour equal amounts of a and B and the way that I do that is I'm gonna scoot you guys in just a little bit don't don't judge my cup because it's a mess but I am um, this cup has measurements on it and because I you know I'm not a young chicken anymore I can't see these little lines at the little bumps on there so I've gone through with my with my um, magic marker and I've marked the line so I can see well and so I'm gonna pour part A up to this line and then I'm gonna pour part B up to this line. And that way I know I have 20 mils of each one. So I'll have 40 mils, okay? All right, Wendy Dodd says, binging tropo or tropo, T-R-O-P-P-O, -P -P don't know that one. Oh. Could you fill us in? And then we get, oh, then we get the hoi polloi. Uh, Cynthia Vandermeer, I rarely watch TV, I read nightly. Oh. I know that's not how she said it, but that's... That's how it sounds. Yeah. And uh, Dorothy Lage, no binge, we don't watch TV. I know, Dorothy's out hiking all the time. I know. I see all the stuff that she's out there doing. Um, Debbie Dorman, once you lightly went the, wet the paper while decoupaging, does it draw back when it dries? Well, if it's decoupaged, it's, it, there's no room for it to draw back. And that's what prevents the wrinkle, right? Because once it adheres to the surface, it can't draw back and so I think that's why you don't get wrinkles but but if you don't wet the paper oh you get some wrinkles know. and then they kind of knock back when they dry right I don't know you know what let's do something I'm gonna just spritz this paper right here and we're gonna let it dry and we're gonna see what happens like we're gonna lay it over here and let it chill out and dry and see what happens to it all right um, and then we'll look at it because you probably need to lay it flat somewhere I would imagine because otherwise it's it's gonna Melissa list says Netflix series I don't know we have Netflix so if you got it oh Lincoln lawyer Netflix series thank okay. you okay and right. you guys know what I don't really watch TV I mean I listen to TV my yes. poor husband I'm every time watcher. I get up he like pauses the TV so I don't miss anything and I just feel so bad because I it's hard for me to sit still and watch TV for a long time because I'm just not going to sit still that long. And so I'm like getting up, walking around, doing stuff. So poor David, it takes him like, you know, hours to watch a 40 minute show. <laughs> Susan Boehner Whitmore Glasser says, Rizzoli and Isles, you like that show. I do. I've watched it twice already. I, yeah, I may go to that after this because I, I watched a couple of them with you. Uh -huh. It seemed okay. Yeah. And she says, Castle. I haven't watched Castle. Have I watched Castle? Is that the one with the attorney? I don't know. I've not watched it. So I'm going to stir this, you guys, until it's clear. And then once it turns clear and I don't have any more ribbons of like white in there, I know that I'm good to go. I only have seven minutes with this, though, so I can't be playing around. <laughs> uh, Celestine Todd says, both on Apple, <coughs> excuse me, Loot or Blackbird. Um, we don't have Apple. That's the only one we don't have. Yeah that I'm aware of. No, we don't have BritBox either. I want to go through and figure out what we really need. I'm like... Well, there's always a little something on all of them. I right? know, but... I mean, just because we're focused on one right now, we're very HBO at the moment. Yeah, because I'm watching Westworld. Right. Um, but and we're, and we're watching... Um, but there's one I want to check out on Hulu that stars the uh, checkout girl from uh, Superstore. Oh. Um, she's got a new series, so I want to check that. That's on Hulu. I'm um, running out of time, you guys. So I'm pouring my extra resin into these other parts of the mold um, so that I'll have plenty of time to pour my laurels. I didn't want to try to mess around. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour this 
and this sets up in seven minutes so it's really nice because you have enough time to like get it poured and get it stirred but it still sets up fast enough that you don't have to wait like forever to do your projects i love it i think it's a nice the timing is really nice on these and so i'm going to go ahead and pour my second batch to do the laurels from this mold kathleen Hoovis, i'm watching midwives my husband and i are watching narcos i started watching narcos i don't know why i stopped that's on netflix uh watch stranger things i don't know maybe it's just me that one stranger things looks like it's scary i don't like scary yeah i'm the same way i everybody loves that show but it just i don't know forced to watch obi-wan um, <laughs> it's you know what i tried to i'm a star wars fan like legitimately but star they're driving me crazy disney is just messing with me i guess of my emotion the the sequels just took it out of me so i just don't care yeah. No. Um, loved Peaky Blinders. Did you watch that? I have not. I should because okay. I love. Um, yeah, I and need to watch Yellowstone. It. That's another one I've never gone to because I don't know where's Yellowstone streaming. I know it's an AMC show. I don't know, but I don't know if it's streaming anywhere. I know it's so popular. My friend owns a shop in our historic downtown area, um, Gila Valley, Maine, and they're gonna do a whole like store set for the for the opening of Yellowstone. Um, Shannon Booth, binging everything right now, taking care of my mom after hip surgery. Oh, Hope she's prayers doing for well. a speedy recovery. Okay, so the Topo Show is setting as Australia. Two unlikely characters match up to solve missing person crimes. Oh, okay, okay maybe. Maybe. Uh, Kathleen Hammond Chrisali, Chrisali, excuse me. Castle is a writer. He works as a partner with a New York police officer. My husband loves the show. Uh, you know, when I watch those shows, like, I love solving cases. My poor husband, I'm always trying to guess who did it before the police tell us who did it. But more than anything, I like the shows that have really good character development. Know what I mean? Uh, Shannon Booth, truth be told, on Apple TV. We don't have Apple TV. Uh, everybody's telling me Yellowstone's on Paramount. We do have Paramount. Oh, we do have Paramount. Yeah, and we oh, have Paramount for your Star Trek. For that one. So yes. Uh, Celestine Todd, Last Kingdom on Netflix. Luann Cox says Yellowstone is excellent. Is that with Kevin Costner? I t I, it's some cowboys on a ranch, and it's yeah. a whole bunch of drama. That's all I know. I know they've had at least one sequel, and I think they're getting another where they're like doing prequels. Oh, for Yellowstone. Like, Yellowstone 1800s, yellow, whatever. Oh, 1800s, a prequel for yellow. I didn't know I that. Don't, I think so. Uh, let's see, on YouTube. Felicia Brown, I like British shows. New Tricks, is that the one where the female takes over an investigative department? She becomes the, detect, uh, the chief inspector, DCI oh. detective chief inspector. I think we started watching that for whatever reason. That one I want to say was on uh, Amazon. And I got away from it and I don't know why. Okay. I like that one. So you Where guys see this white detectives. right here? They're all older detectives. It's already starting to set up. See how it's turning white? Like that's how fast it is. Super fast. Sorry. Oh, we got two people that are, uh, they sell in the same place. Cool. Not, not, not both vendor not uh recycled oh but they sell vendors the but yeah. they but they each have booths in the same place the same and they place. just discovered themselves on youtube oh how funny that's cool. yeah you would never have two recycled in the right in the same place because i actually do territory protection joan volkman i love castle don't like scary shows either i love sci-fi but i don't like scary i'm weird yeah it's just not it's just not for me i've never been a horror no. fan so this paper is drying just fine. It is a little bit wrinkly, but I think that has more to do with how I laid it down than anything. So they were asking about after you spray it, um, you know, what happens. So it did draw it back up. So I think that you have to use it when it's wet, because it's like your jeans, when you put them in the dryer, they're gonna draw back up when they dry. I had really made up my mind on what I was gonna do with the circle, you guys. Oh, so. we have a couple of votes for the terminal list. It's on Prime. Okay. So there you go. Nancy B, 1880 was fantastic. That was... I opinion. heard that everyone really enjoyed that one. Yeah. Uh, she says, never watched Yellowstone, but my husband is all in. 
uh, Paula Takuchi. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably not. Probably Takechi. T-A-K-E-U-C-H-I. The Blacklist. It's amazing. That's the one with James Spader. Oh, right? yeah. I watched the first and second seasons of Blacklist. You know what happens with a lot of shows? I'll start watching them, and they're really good. And, like, the third season, they always go off script. And I feel like that's what happened with the Blacklist. They lost me in the third season. Um, Carla Engel. Yes, it is resin. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Yes, we we're using casting resin. So it's not epoxy resin. It's casting resin. Because if we were using epoxy resin, we would not be sitting in the shed with the door closed. All right. Tammy Valoni, 1883. She liked it. Um, Luann Cox, uh, Yellowstone is a modern day Western. You won't be sorry. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. And it is Costner. Thank you. I got it right. Uh, Cynthia Vandermeer. I do watch The Walking Dead. Oh. I watched the first episode. I like that it was quiet. But I just don't care for it. That said, I've read the comics and I love the comics. Mm -mm. I don't want to have nothing to do with no dead people walking around. I'm sorry. But I'm I think scary. it's because I don't like the jump scares that come yeah. with horror. And in a comic, you can't get jump scared. That's true. So the comics are great. They're really, really good. So, and, and that said, I love the George Romero zombie movies. You always say that. Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead. Those mm -hmm. three are spectacular. Mm -hmm. I even like the other ones that nobody likes. Diary of the Dead, Land mm -hmm. of the Dead. Mm -hmm. I, I do. Mm -hmm. but that's I don't want to see no dead people walking around. That's because they're political. They're not... They're not, I'm just going to scare you to scare you. Each one has a message. It's subtle, mm -hmm. but it's there. But it's there. First one's about racism. Second one is about consumerism. Third one is about the military-industrial complex. It's, I love those movies. Those are the only horror movies I like. And From Dust Till Dawn. But that's because Tarantino wrote it. And it's, it's legitimately funny as it is scary. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. I do not want to be scared. There used to be a show that used to come on the Sci-Fi Channel where friends would like set up their friends to be scared, like they do pranks. Mm -mm. If you're a friend of mine and you watching, do not do that to me because you will get jacked up. Yes. Like, no, don't do it. <laughs> Julie Deckert, my husband had knee surgery, knee replacement surgery, so he's home watching a lot of TV right now. Just finished Sons of Anarchy and Chicago PD from season one. Now watching Chicago Fire did Yellowstone a few months ago. Oh. Um, Sons of Anarchy just got to me after a while. I watched, I think, three or four seasons of it. It just, it felt like it It was just spinning. It, it felt it was going longer than the story merited. I was gonna say, I think that's what happens to a lot of shows, because you get to the third season and they kind of have to figure out like where to go from here, right? That's kind of why Because like they've reached the, the, Whatever you want yeah. to call it. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of British shows for that reason. It's like, man, we'll do two, three series and we're out. Yeah, tell the story, yeah. punch out. Yeah, and I'm fine with that. I'm going to uh, dry this really quick, you guys. Shannon Booth says, The Old Man is Great too with Jeff Bridges and John Lithgow. You know what? We're getting a low battery warning. I'm down at 10%. Um, On the, the tablet? Yes. Well, you're at an hour. We're at an hour. So what we're going to do, you guys, so we don't have to, um, like, end abruptly at a, like, awkward place, we're going to go ahead and close out early today. I did not plug up my tablet. It freaking, it um, charges so slow because it was, it was plugged up for an hour and a half. And so we need our tablet to be able to um, switch and do both YouTube and, and yeah. it's really a requirement. So, but this is where we are. So I won't do anything else. We'll finish together next week, right? It's not a huge deal. So I poured my laurels here. Um, so we're gonna make, I think it's gonna be super fun to make like a three dimensional like grain sack, right? So we'll have the laurels on either side and then we'll have our pig in the middle. Um, of the laurels and I've even these are like little wheat branches and these are like little florals so if we have room so we'll make our little three-dimensional kind of grain sack in here 
Um, and then because we're going to be doing this next week, we can probably make several rounds and I'll figure out um, exactly how we can like make it interchangeable with our silver dish. So we can talk about that next week as well. So we'll just finish up next week. Um, this is still drying. So this part is done, right? Um, um, our big tag is done. And it's not centered, and I did that on purpose. I know I drive people crazy because I like doing things kind of wonky. Um, and so we'll finish next week. But if you guys are looking for Recycle Decoupage paper, you can go to Recycle.com. And um, if you click on Retailers up top, you guys can find Retailers. If you don't have someone near you, if you reach out to your nearest retailer, they will take care of you. Like 99% of the retailers do ship and they do have like an online presence. So somebody will be available to take care of you. If you guys are not already a part of the Recycle Upcycling um, with Decoupage, Recycled Upcycling with Decoupage is a group on Facebook. Um, I love the group because you guys can share your projects. You guys can ask for advice if you're in the middle of a project and you need help. And if you're looking for a specific paper design, you can post in that group and the retailers who have it will let you know so that they can take care of you. Um, I'm trying to think. If you guys are watching on YouTube, if you could subscribe, that would be awesome. I do upload new tutorials um, generally once a week. I don't know about this week because my VA was actually playing drums in the band this weekend. She was, yeah. So she's been busy all week rehearsing. <laughs> she, she was just a drummer and the Sunflowers was the name of her band. Yes. Um, and so we'll see what happens for this week. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. If you guys want to get text alerts, you guys can text to 1-928-563-4641. That's 928-563-4641. Um, and I generally like text about 15 minutes before we're going to go live. Um, if I'm going to go like go live to go show the new designs, those of you that have text and email, you guys will get the alerts first. Um, if you guys want to be on my email list, I will put a post on my page and my YouTube in the comments for this live. So you guys can go ahead and, I don't know, it's just another way for us to keep in touch. Um, so that if anything is going up, we're getting geared up for um, Pinterest, our Pinterest conference in November. I'm getting super excited about that. Um, so if you guys are in the Arizona area and you're going to be here the third week end of November, you guys can come out and hang, us, hang out with us at Pinners. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. For my retailers who are coming to Arizona in just a couple of weeks, I'm super excited. I'm like taking care of all the details and getting all the things done. So I'll be posting in the retailers group about that. And I think that's it. Unless you can think of anything else. Um, where did it go? Beverly Skeen says an oldie but a goodie black, or black orchid. I have no idea what that is, oh. except for a comic book. It's a great comic book by the guy who, uh, he well, he didn't create the character, but he reinvented the character. His name yes. is Neil Gaiman, an author, and he's got a new show that's coming on Netflix next month, Sandman. Oh, oh, Sandman. We've talked about that before. Yep. I'd be interested to see his take on that. Yes. So, But I don't know what the TV show is. That's so, what I'm saying. Yeah, so Beverly, I'm curious what Black Orchid is. And Beverly, your prize was shipped out. I apologize for the delay, but those were brand new Wise Owl colors. And so, you know, there's a lot of shipments going out. I probably should have talked about the Wise Owl colors tonight, but we can do that next week, too. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for logging on and hanging out with us tonight. Um, you guys have a blessed week. I will probably be, be popping on maybe this week. We'll see what happens. But make sure that you guys are set up to either get text alerts or that you're in the email group so that you guys will get notifications. Either way, you'll find out what I'm going to be doing. But thank you guys so much. You guys have a blessed week. And um, Lord willing, we'll see you next Sunday. Bye.